What's claimed to be the most generous grapevine in the world is in Scotland. Having laughed that off, perhaps you'd like to know more about it. Well, it's 300 feet long and the pride of Kippen in Stirlingshire. It's nearly 50 years old and grows bigger every year. The grapes are large and luscious, and in 1937 nearly 3,000 bunches were picked, said to be another record. Over a period of 30 years, the vine has yielded about 46,000 bunches, and that isn't a bedside story. But this is a bedtime story, and it's a little out of my depth. Ladies, these are some of the latest styles in nightmare, uh, sorry, nightwear. They're fashioned in satin, chiffon and lace, and though you may get one for a ridiculous price, that isn't the same as for an absurd figure. I think I'd better retire for a moment while the ladies are preparing to retire for the night. Uh, uh, pardon my bursting into the boudoir again, ladies, but I thought you might like to know that I'm just after the Southern Tyrol for a spot of skiing. There's a new sledway to the skiing ground, a cable car that seats 15, and the trip up the mountainside is one of the loveliest imaginable. At this point of vantage, we can enjoy a wonderful view of the Dolomites, uh, mountains, not American tourists, and then for the mad, twisty, twirly sweep down the slopes into the valley. Isn't it good to be alive? From snowshoes to horseshoes, and a blacksmith who's a little different. The Hammersmith's really a ladysmith, Mrs. Martha Smith to be precise, and as Mr. Longfellow put it, you can hear her swing her heavy sledge with measured beat and slow. Mrs. Smith claims to be the only Lady Smith in America. And, uh, oh, I wonder if you'd mind telling us, Mrs. Smith, if you've ever been hurt shoeing a horse. No, I've been kicked a couple of times, but I never was hurt. <laughs> 